Hey, what's going on YouTube? BD Kane 721. I am coming at you today, Sunday, May 7th, from the home base. You can see my little beast in the background. I've got different bobbleheads even uh, that, that are here at home. Uh, and this is where I normally work during the afternoons uh, during the week. Uh, but today is Sunday and I had some extra time uh, nothing really going on this afternoon, not until the Padres game later today, which I think is on ESPN. And I wanted to open up a package that I received last week. Uh, it's a PSA reveal from our good buddy JT over at TripleCon24. I actually got this package probably last Wednesday or Thursday. I've been wanting to make a video for uh, for opening it. Just Just wanted to get it on camera. Uh, and I thought I was going to do it tomorrow, but I had this extra time. So that's what I've got today, a little blind reveal for all of you. I'm really excited about this one because we're talking July 2022, which was when I sent this package off. Uh, and I think it was some kind of July special that was going on that JT got uh, some a group of cards together for might have been for the national so i'm gonna just rip into this real quick so it's been you know a little bit of time i think you might have seen some other videos out there i think mike o did one recently on the same uh the same submission or one of the one of the same submissions and there might be i think there's another card in here too i wanted to show you another card that i bought from jt's ebay store so, oh yeah, always does a fantastic job. It covers the grades for me. Can't really beat that. Thank you, JT, for that in case you're watching. Um, and then there's also uh, another card in here. I mean, I'm, I, there's also, yeah, there's also another card that I bought from his eBay store. I said that already. So let's go ahead and open this up. Now, there's three cards in this submission for me. Uh, and as you can guess, three cards, one from each of my PCs. And then this is the card that I bought off of JT's website, his eBay store, a little uh, 20, what is this, 2013, I think. Yeah, 2013 Mini of Manny Machado, blue version. Really good looking card, number to 99. So happy about that, getting that into the into the PC. All right, on to the blind reveal. Um, again, three cards, one each from my player PCs, Manny Machado, Fernando Tatis Jr., and Mike Trout. And I'm gonna start with the Fernando Tatis Jr. card. Um, this is from 2020. And I believe he has the, yep, he's got the blue tape over the grade, so I can flip this over without putting my thumb on it. Got this card at the Del Mar show. The very first one, which was held a year ago, a little over a year ago, spring of 2022. And it is a short print. It is the photo photo variation. It's got the rookie cup. He's doing some kind of, you know, pose like he always likes to do when he does something good. So probably got a hit or I'm not sure what he's doing there. Maybe he's waiting for something to happen. But uh, 2020 Topps flagship variation, short print, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, when I bought this, I took a look at it even at the show. I know it's not, it shouldn't be a 10. I'd be shocked if it was. Um, I'm hoping all three of these cards are at least nines, as I always do. So let's rip off the Band-Aid. Oh, got a 10. Awesome. That's fantastic. I really was not expecting that. I thought there was at least one corner on... This card that had a little bit of an issue, but oh, I'm really, really happy about that. That is fantastic. So, great way to start. I'll leave that here for right now. That was the card that I actually didn't think I would do as well as the other two, so hopefully that's not a sign of bad things to come. The next card is a Mike Trout uh, from the Mike Trout Collection. It's one of those silver pack dilios that... Uh, um, I think it was 20, what is this? Yeah, 2020 Silver Pack Green, numbered to 99. Look how beautiful that card is. And if you can't see it or the glare is horrible, I'm sorry about that. But what an awesome looking card. 
very different kind of photo that you normally see with a with kind of a pose going on there for the camera uh anyway 2020 top silver pack mike trout green refractor um i think of the three this is the one that i was hoping i would get a 10 on or at least i thought i would get a 10 on so given the fact i already got a 10 and the way psa has been grading my submissions i'm not really sure what's going to happen here so um let's hope for at least a nine all right guys ready yep got the nine okay so with these kind of cards i always doubt myself for being able to figure out if it's worth grading or not because of all this action that's going on on the face of it but hey a nine is not bad at all on something like that i will definitely take it all right i don't have another stand to put that on so i'll just leave that there for right now considering the uh, tatis is a better grade so the last card is a machado from uh, 2014. This is one of those cards that, um, well, let me just flip it over so you can see it. So it's the Bowman Chrome Manny Machado Black Static Refractor. And I have several variations of this card in different colors. This happens to be, I think, the best one, plus it's numbered to 35. So I thought, what a great candidate to get graded. A uh, nice Black Refractor second year, I guess you could say, uh, Manny Machado, Bowman Chrome. There's only 35 of them, so I'm going to guess this is a 9. But uh, and I can see, you know, I, I knew there were some issues when I sent this in with possibly a little left or right centering issue uh, on the back. It shows up a little bit more when you can see the left or right, which is up top to bottom on the back. So I think that's going to knock me down to a 9. I don't think this should get a 10 so let's just see yep mint nine all right so i did better than i expected got the nine trout got the nine uh machado and i got the 10 on the tatis jr so fantastic i'm very happy with that return hope you guys enjoyed that uh not much else to say about those cards i'll put this little machado here and the mini machado in the in the camera or in the frame so you can kind of see that. I know it's hard to see it on the on the table like that, but yeah, that's it. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Happy to get that return back. Thank you again, JT, for all your work on that. And I will have some mail to show later this week. There's some pretty cool things that have come in I wanted to fill you guys in on. So I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. See you.